Hi everybody, Michael Nelson with TLC Tech presenting today's How Do I? Today's question is how do I change the background screen on Microsoft Teams? So wherever you're at within Teams, whether you're in the chat or anywhere else, go into the Teams room. What you're gonna notice right here is a Meet button. Click on Meet and this is gonna bring up the beginning window. My camera's turned off, so let's go ahead and turn that on. It's gonna remember the back, the last thing that I had turned on or the last background setting, which for me was at this point was a blur. If you'll notice right here, all I had to do was click on background filters and that gives me the ability to start changing my background. So a lot of built-in Microsoft backgrounds that look good are kind of meant to deal with. As you can see, as I move my head around, you can see kind of that as it's, it, it can't completely keep up with everything in the background. So some of these work better than others or a little bit less noticeable when you move your head. The blur is probably the best because it, it, it just hides basically everything. But you can go into all these different kind of settings. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these from your coworkers and thought, gosh, they, they, I guess they moved while the pandemic was going on. But you can choose all of these different options. Now, let's say that you have some images of your own that you really like and you want to get your latest and your latest vacations in there. So you can say add new and then all you have to do is start grabbing them, click open, and it'll go ahead and update. Now, that one is obviously not the right one because it's on the sideways. So I'm going to go ahead and add a different one. That was 38, so I'm gonna grab image nine. Let's see how that one does. Okay, so it's a nice lake. I believe this was a vacation I took in Switzerland. Looks good, kind of moved my head around a little bit. Not too bad there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one more, and that's going to be image 25. Now, okay, so this was the Matterhorn. If I take my head out of the way, you can see, and that's gonna be part, part of the problem. So you wanna play around with the background images and just kind of see how you show up so that they actually make sense when other people are looking at you on them. So again, let's say you wanna go back to the ones that I added that I, that I didn't like. So you'll notice these three. That one, the image 38, obviously did not show up right. So if you notice, like everything Microsoft web-based, you have these three ellipses. If you click on that, you can say remove. You can remove any of these that you want except for the built-in ones. Those are automatically built-in by Microsoft. Those are gonna stay there. So you can keep changing all of the ones you want from Microsoft. They have playful ones. All you wanna do, do there. Uh, most people, are standing are, are on the beach or they're doing the blur. But again, if you want to get a mo little more creative, go ahead and grab your own stuff, test it out, see how it goes, and you can just click around. As soon as you join the meeting, it'll keep that background and that will remain your background until the next time you change the background. Again, when you're in the meeting, all you have to do when you're in it You'll see the area to do it, but you'll it'll show settings. You can click up on your settings, choose background, and then go ahead and change the background image how you want there. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to answer for the next one, please let me know. M. Nelson at TLCTech.com. Really appreciate you being here.